So we're with Roger Morris, Sales Director at Precise, and you are a regular here at the FSEs. I am, thank you. <laughs> How are you finding the show today? I thought today was even better than last year. Um, the quality of the brokers coming through, the level of questions and interest was higher than previous years. And I think it goes to show that brokers need to be more informed to be able to give them more competition and drive more business into their practices. So it was really well received today, very impressive. Now the full buy to let regulation of the market is growing closer by the day. Um, what are your views on the regulation changes of how it will affect the sector? My personal views on regulation of this sector I think are needed in some way. It's just a pity that we've decided to exclude volumetric landlords like myself and just sort of capture a specific part of the market. It could have been easy if we'd kind of created a standard for all instead of some parts regulated and some part isn't. What we have done from research that I've personally underdone myself is about 70% of the buy let market could actually fall under this regulated area. So a couple who've got together and got married and had two houses previously, converted one to a buy let inherited property, um, where maybe an individual has decided to buy a property, um, gonna live in it and done a let to buy. So I think the market is considerably higher than what we currently perceive. And I think lenders will be challenged to come up with the right solution. But the issue really should be not to deter individuals to have one buy to let, which is part of a comprehensive solution for, for their retirement. So if we drive regulation in, that will prevent you or I having one buy to let, which would then maybe a big part of our retirement plan to protect the consumer is detriment to their long-term retirement needs. So we've got some, some challenges ahead, but I do think we'll find the right solution in the end. Yeah. Now on a similar line, with regards to the mortgage credit directive, it's soon to hit the mortgage market. Yeah. What challenges is the industry going to face with, with that? I don't think it's challenges. I think it's the opposite. I think it's a unique opportunity to solidify right advice. I think the consumer perceives that a secured loan at the moment is going to be given on the same way as a mortgage. A mortgage, the consumer has to be given the best rate and the best lender for them. But under the credit consumer license, they can be given any product from any lender and charge a very high rate and a high set of fees. And that is complying with the credit directive. Under the mortgage credit directive that's coming in, moving away from the Credit Consumer Act, they have to be given the best advice. So a broker has to first look at the potential of going back to the existing lender, has to look at unsecured borrowing, it has to look at a secured loan, and it has to work out an overall comparison of cost of, of the different options. So it's not the rate, it's looking at the fees and the options. In other words, the customer may be interest only, and if they were to take an extra 30 or 40 grand, typically, currently, you would have to do a remortgage and take the whole loan capital repayment. So I actually think what we'll do is we'll actually improve dramatically the practices in the secured loan market, where instead of them picking one of their favorite lenders or a rate that um, allows them to make more money, they will have to now start to quote the cheapest rate and maybe a lender that asks a little bit more information, but when you think that loan could be out for 25 years, it makes a considerable difference. So the market will become much cleaner. Um, brokers will not take a higher rate when another's a cheaper rated lender in the market space, unless there's a criteria reason to change that direction. So I'm quite excited. When I speak to brokers on a regular basis, at the moment they have no interest in secured loans, but from the 21st of March, 2016, it'd be a legal requirement to consider the full overall right advice for the consumer. So I think the market will grow, brokers will grow in confidence and experience, and I'll see the market maturing yet to another le level and I'm quite excited. What do you think that intermediaries can be doing to ensure a better relationship with the lenders? I don't think it's, much, it's a better relationship with the lenders. And the first thing intermediaries need to use now, between now and March, is to actually understand the secured loan market, understand its uses, uh, understand whether it's uh, an option for not converting to a completely capital repayment loan, um, being able to look at a 
customers on a high ERC or on a specific fixed rate. I think they need to understand the criteria of lenders. Uh, I think they need to understand the ramifications. So brokers need to use these next few months to work with lenders like Precise, do a whole market explanation on Shawbrook, Nemo, um, all the lenders in that space because no one lender holds the moral high ground and no one lender is a solution to the market. But collectively, um, that marketplace will mature, become more professional and will align itself to how first charge mortgages are currently issued, which is the best deal is the one that the client gets. Do you think there's a particular area of lending that you think is the kind of one to watch this year? I think the biggest area is the expansion of grand lords. Grand lords themselves uh, weren't, were worrying about how much money they would take out of their pensions and with the buy annuity, annuities drop through the floor. Around about 82% from the figures I've seen is where they have taken the money and they're reinvesting. We've seen an increase in buy to let and we're increasing in money invested in government bonds but you will see this constant growth of buy to let we can never solve the housing crisis in the UK by building more homes because we are not producing any more land. So new build and grand lords between the two will be the biggest growth area 2015. Will we see you in London in September? I can't confirm that at the moment but I have potentially allowed the final comeback of the year. So fingers crossed, watch this space. <laughs> we will. Thanks Roger, thanks for joining us.